Hi everybody, it's Mr. Gray here. Thanks again for another great week. Believe it or not, we're already um, through February pretty much. Uh, sorry, on Tuesday and then just a month away from spring break. Um, we're also getting close to the end of trimester two, um, believe it or not, of third grade. So we're moving really fast. I have a few announcements first today. The first is Wednesday, March 2nd is Read Across America Day which we will celebrate as Read All Day Day. Um, we do have an art, uh, Meet the Masters art is coming that day. And so we'll break from our reading between recess and lunch to do that big art project. But the rest of the day will just be open reading time. So the kids can bring books. We obviously have a lot of books. Uh, they can also wear their pajamas that day, bring a blanket and stuffed animal to get comfortable uh, and cozy to find a good spot to read. Uh, we'll be reading inside for part of the day. We'll go outside and read for part of the day as long as the weather um, holds out for us. So it should be a really, really fun day, but that's what's going on on Wednesday, March 2nd. Friday, March 4th is the Jogathon. Um, some envelopes came home where you can get pledges uh, of money and it supports the school and those can get sent back to me, but they don't have to get sent back until Friday, March 18th, even though the actual Jogathon is next Friday the 4th. Uh, our Jogathon time is right away, like basically first thing in the morning. So you'll drop your kids off, we'll do like one quick thing in our classroom and then we'll go outside and get ready for the Jogathon. So they can go to school like dressed and ready uh, for jogathon uh, with like running shoes and like kind of appropriate attire for whatever the temperature is um, with running involved. So that's what's going on um, on Friday, and then we'll have a normal day after that. So we'll still co we'll come back to class uh, and we'll still be doing academic things that day. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're planning for that. Open house is still scheduled for Thursday, March 31st. Uh, I sent out a couple emails last week. That last week um, and a little bit before. Uh, we're counting as spring conference week. Spring conferences are a time where if you have sp some specific concern or need um, that you could meet with me and then uh, we'll like kind of go over that. Uh, if you want to meet about anything else, like we, we don't have to meet during conference week, but you can always email me um, and let me know. Keep working on multiplication and division facts. We just um, finished our second word of it, um, so you can click on that and see the link. Uh, and then, of course, the kids are working on their spelling words every week. This week in Reader's Workshop, we're now focused on these animal research clubs. We have a bunch of sets of books. So we have frogs and wolves and sharks and penguins and a couple more uh, that the kids are able to read. So they have their own little research club and so we're doing different things for the research. So this week we talked about like specific vocabulary that experts used and we tried to generate ideas um, from looking at it for our writing work. Um, but next week we're going to switch the animals. We got some practice with one animal. We're going to switch them. We're going to talk about different ways to research like that animal. And so we'll build up vocabulary again like we did the first time and then also talk about how to discuss an animal with zeal in my research club. So I'm able to not only get information out of the book but then sit with people and talk about about what I found. So we'll actually practice some ways to have conversations about the interesting things you found out about your animal. In writing workshop, we're doing writing about research as we're reading and learning research techniques. So the writing and reading are going hand in hand. Um, we're going to take the animal that you're reading about and we're going to do some writing about it. We're going to get ready to write uh, by discussing. Um, and then we're going to talk about like how tables of contents go and how those relate to how chapters are organized um, before I actually start drafting about my animal. In math, we're going to wrap up our fractions unit. Next week, we're going to talk about fractions greater than one. Um, if you've heard this before, you know that we kind of refer to it as fractions greater than one. Now you may have heard it as improper fraction, but we're going to refer to it as a fraction greater than one. So we're going to study fractions greater than one uh, using number lines and area models. Uh, and then we'll also use fractions in word problems. And then we'll do some review and then a fraction assessment um, at the end of the week to see um, what kind of learning happened throughout this time. But the kids have been doing a great job. In the last week or two, we would talk about comparing fractions, seeing which one is bigger, and also learning about equivalent fractions, like how we know that two-fourths is equal to one-half. And the way we did that was we used area models. We shaded in that two-fourths was the same as one-half and also using number lines. Um, and perhaps, you know, some students came up with this idea that I can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. That also shows 
um, that they're equivalent fractions, and that's really helpful uh, when you get into adding and subtracting fractions uh, in the next couple of years. In social studies, um, we've been looking at the important symbols and documents from the United States, so things like the Star Spangled Banner, or um, a bald eagle, or like uh, symbols that just come up, the, the flag, things like that. So we've been talking about that, and so we're gonna take that information that we learned, this idea that symbols, something that can stand for something else, it's not just a flag, it has these other meanings, and we're gonna make some class symbols. Uh, so maybe some pictures, we're gonna work on that together, and next week we're gonna have some class symbols that mean something for our class. And in science, we're gonna start our next unit, which is all about weather. So we'll start with discussing what weather is and sort different kinds of weather. Um, we'll look at some weather data and just discuss what it looks like, uh, and then we'll get into different types of clouds and cloud formations and what that means for the weather. Uh, so thanks again. If you have any questions, let me know. We'll be into March next week um, and the schedule kind of gets back to normal. The last few weeks there's been like a day off here or there, some changes in the schedule, but it's relatively the same from now until the last week of March, which uh, is spring conference week, so those have a bunch of early days. Um, so have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.